Well, I guess that's all locked up tight now, as it should be. Uh, hi there, Jody. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, everything's all safe down here. Let's go upstairs. Need a hand with him? Is it too heavy? No, no, I can manage fine. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're on our way to the children's department once again. Okay, it's clear. The customers have all gone home now. Today's special is our story. Last day, store is closing down. Clear the shelves, all the customers are gone. Say goodbye to all my friends. Last day, the store is closing day, down. Clear the, the, the shelves, all the customers are gone. Say goodbye to all my friends. and still there's more boxes to fill on every floor. I'm very tired. And furthermore, I don't want to leave the store. Well, none of us do, Muffy. It's just that, well, pretty soon they're going to tear down this building and put up a brand new building. Isn't there anything we can do? No, nothing. At 9 o'clock this morning, the store will be sold, so we got to be packed and out of here by the end of the day. It's terrible. It's just terrible. Uh, I think it's just awful knocking down a beautiful old building like this just because it's old. I know I agree with you, Sam, but there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Come on, let's sort through this box. Oh, sure, see what we got. Okay. Hey, well. Muffy, isn't that your old movie camera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Re remember when we were all in Muffy's movie? Oh. Yeah, boy, <laughs> we ever looked silly, didn't we? <laughs> Hey, wait a second. That's my old pair of shoes there, Jody. Oh, come on, Sam. You don't really want to save these, do you? Well, no, I guess not. I was rather attached to them at one point, remember? Oh, I cry when things are thrown away. They remind me of a better day. Yeah. Don't cry, Muffy. We've got so many good things to remember to make us happy. Yeah, Jeff's right. I mean, we've got some wonderful memories, and nobody can ever take those away from us. We all have the memories of those magical moments that we shared with love. It's true. Remember the circus. <laughs> oh, yeah. We played a funny clown. And remember those costumes. Or when the soup fell down. <laughs> Good times that we never forget. The obstacle course when Jeff got wet. When Muffy went flying. Or when Sam played a tune. Oh. tune, tune. <laughs> and Jody went riding. And we found a balloon. Oh, remember it was the one with the stars? Yeah. yeah. Blue. Then there was Muffy's movie. Very groovy. Starlight. Where we could snap. <laughs> and I got rained out, oh boy. And we did lots of dancing. Yeah. Singing, acting. All 
those good times Make us happy to look back Why? Cause we'll all have the memories of Those magical moments that are filled with love Jeff's very first birthday Game Samuel he won <laughs> The treasure goes small We better get on with this packing. There's no sense in just sitting around here thinking about the past. Yeah. Hey, can I throw this away? It's just an old photograph. Is it? Well, hey, let us see the photograph. Perhaps we'll get another laugh. Oh. I don't think so, Muffy. It's just a number. Mm. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's a photo of an historic plaque. What? A plaque. A long time ago, when they used to build stores and houses, they put the date on a plaque like this one. See? 1899. That's the year it was built. Most old buildings have them. Well, does our store have one? Oh, don't we wish. See, many old buildings that are old enough to have a plaque like this can't be torn down. That's the law. Well, ho hold your horses now. Uh, do you mean to say that no one knows exactly how old this building is? That's right. Well, See, the records were destroyed in a fire a long time ago, so in order to save the store, we'd have to find a plaque like this. Oh, you should have told me this before. I would have searched the entire store. Oh, never mind, Muffy. They already did that with experts. But we weren't here because they did it during the daytime. Mm. And they didn't find the plaque, did they? They didn't find anything. So there's nothing we can do to save the store from being torn down. Oh, it makes me angry and annoyed to have another home destroyed. It happened to me once before. That's how I came to this old store. My home was in a grand old house, perfect for a little mouse. And then the family moved away. Oh, I recall that dreadful day. to call my own no time for tears I must be brave and strong gone my shower bathtub and telephone my bags are packed it's time to move along I am a mouse without a house that's what I am a houseless mouse and through the city I'll roam to find myself another home there isn't time to stop for tea I must find a place that has lots of space for a cute little mouse like me poor little homeless Muffy Mouse is looking for another house and sneak a peek it might have a cat <gasps> who wants to be fat Ooh, and will chase me around all week I am a mouse without a house that's what I am a houseless mouse oh. hey, good night Mrs. Fenton now go straight home now. Don't be playing in the puddles. <laughs> yeah, there's a nice little mouse. <laughs> the mouse! Hey! Hey, stop, mouse! Stop that scooter! Hey, you come back here! Hey, Jody! Jody, stop that mouse! <laughs> oh! Uh, hey, uh, I'll go that way. You go this way. No, wait, I'll go that way. You go. Huh? No, no, just run out. I should go run that after. way. Come here, you little oh. look! Oh, rat. Over there. Okay, uh, what 
that's the big idea, busting in here, little mouse. Sam, please, maybe she's hurt. Mm. I hope you haven't broken any oh. bones. Oh, a bruise or two, I think that's all. No bones broken in my fall. Hey, hey that's a talking mouse, Jody. That's mighty strange. Hey, don't you know mice aren't supposed to talk? Uh, well, this mouse talks all the time. Not only that, I talk in rhyme. <laughs> Still kind of strange, if you ask me. Uh, well, forgive me for being talkative, but I'm looking for a place to live. Oh, oh, well, you're gonna have to look someplace else. After all, this is a store. This isn't a hotel, you know. Oh, come on, Sam. There's plenty of places for her to live here. Anyway, I think she's kind of cute. Cute? Uh, <laughs> oh, and I think you are very nice. So many folk are mean to mice. Nice, huh? <laughs> Hear that? Nice. Uh, well, uh, what do you say, Sam? Well... After all, you bring your cat to the store all the time. <gasps> yeah. Oh, drat. He has a cat? Oh, I can't stay here, and that is that. Oh, but, but Penelope's a very nice cat. Yes, she and is. And anyway, she stays in mm. Sam's computer room all the time. Mm. Oh, well, then your cat I will ignore and stay a while here in the store. Great! Then let's find a place to put her things. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, what am I going to tell Penelope? You oh, turtle feathers. Oh, now you know my entire story and how I arrived in all my glory. Well, I, uh, I guess I'll just go and pack my own belongings in. Excuse me, Jody. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, I, uh, I guess I'll go check the hallways. Maybe, uh, we forgot something else. Oh, sometimes I wonder why it's so hard to say goodbye. Oh, I know, Muffy. I know. Oh, hey, Muff. Hmm. Aren't these yours? I remember when you made them come to life. Oh, when I used Waldo's magic spell, they moved and danced. Oh, it was swell. Hey, why don't you try that magic spell again, Muffy? I think we could all use some magic on a day as sad as this. Oh, okay. abra dee abra -do, with a hey and a ho and a nonny nonny no
miss you. Well, I'll, uh, I'll kind of miss you too, TXL. Just, I just, uh, well, I, I better finish packing now, and uh, uh, here it is, my pride and joy. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir, really wouldn't want to forget this then. Oh, it's, it's all so sad, Mr. Crenshaw. Well, look, TXL, that's not always the case, you know. Why, sometimes when things look sad, in the end they have a happy ending. Why, I remember when I retired from the Merchant Marine. Well, Penelope, there it is, land. Yep, this is it. Just plain old retired Sam Crenshaw from now on. Ex-seaman. <laughs> well, I guess it's about time I stopped working, don't you think? Can I take your bag, sir? Oh, yes, thank you very much. You be careful with Penelope now. <laughs> Requesting permission to go ashore, sir. Permission granted. Good luck, Sam. Thank you very much, Captain. Same to you. Don't bump into any icebergs now. <laughs> well, bye, trunk. Bye, ropes. Sing me yo hee ho, sail across the ocean blue. Sing me yo hee ho, I'm a coming home to you. Sing me yo hee ho, sail across the ocean blue. Sing me yo hee ho, I'm a coming home to you. Thanks, sailor. Man, sure was a pretty ship. <sighs> now that day started out as the saddest day of my life. But that's not how it ended. No siree, not by a long shot. Kinda nice having this park so close to our new home, isn't it, Penelope? Eh, we'll be able to come here every day. <laughs> Except, of course, it's raining, we won't be able to. Then we'll have to go to the library or... Well, <laughs> uh, don't worry, Penelope. We'll find lots of things to do. Come on, then. <sighs> well, I'm just sitting in the park, watching children sitting in the park, see them play. Sitting in the park, nothing else to do today. Sitting in the park. Munching peanuts, sitting in the park, feeding birds. Soon it will be dark and we'll have to go away. On shore, there's a new life for me before I would sail on the sea no more. I will be when it's a sunny day. I'll be sitting in the park, just watching sailboats, sitting in the park and drinking tea, dreaming of the days when I used to be at sea. Are you all right, ma'am? You don't look too all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just a little upset. I can't seem to find any work. Oh, yeah. Well, good jobs are kind of hard to find these days. Uh, here, have some peanuts. No, thank you. Mm. I keep going to interviews and trying to get a job as a display designer, and they just keep turning me down. Oh, Nobody's down ever going to hire me. Oh. Now, don't be silly. Here, uh, look in the in the newspaper advertisements. Maybe you'll find one there. Thanks. Do you have a job? No, not anymore. Used to be in the Merchant Marine. 
but now I'm too old. Kind of miss having something to do. Oh, here's one. Display designer needed for large department hey. store. No, they won't hire me. Hey, don't be silly. What kind of an attitude is that? You listen, young lady. You just march right in there and you tell them, hello, my name is Sam, and I'm... Oh, <laughs> Of course, that's my name, isn't it? Not your name. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My name's Jody. Oh, how do you do, Jody? Nice to meet you. But look, you just go down to that store and you say, my name's Jody, and I'm the best display designer in the whole world. Do you really think it'll work? Of course it'll work. Now go on. And don't forget, you are a wonderful display designer. And you tell him that. You know what? You're right. And I'm going to try it. Good for you. Gee, thanks a lot, Sam. You're welcome. Bye, Jody. Good luck. <laughs> well, well. She's a nice lady, isn't she, Penelope? Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what a display designer does anyway. Oh, my. Sam, Sam, wake up. I'm awake, I'm awake. Uh, I oh, got the job, isn't job. that wonderful? Hey, that is terrific. See, I told you, you just have to believe in yourself. And not only that, but they need a night watchman, so um, I told them all about you. A night watchman, huh? Well, I don't know. Oh, it's a good job, yeah. and you get to wear a special uniform. A uniform, huh? Well, <laughs> just like when I used to be at sea. Well, come on, then. What are you waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> A uniform, huh? That'll be terrific. Oh, all right. You know, did I ever tell you about the time no when I was with a merchant and me? I've got a job now. Well, it's a working work out. Lots of pollen in a store. Well, and I've made a friend that I didn't have before. <laughs> it's you, you know. <laughs> and there's a world that we can both explore. So you see, TXL, you just never know what's around the corner. I am a computer. I am programmed to know everything. I uh, wish you did. Then you could tell us where to find that plaque everyone's looking for. <laughs> Are you referring to the one that looks like this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one, all right. I'm afraid that I have no records of the plaque's location. Yeah. Well, then, I guess our last hope for saving the store is gone. I may as well go and help Muffy move her piano. Come off the wall, you silly sign. I'm taking you because you're mine. <laughs> I made a little crack. It got plastered down my back. <coughs> oh, there. Now I'm tapped and I must go. I'll miss my friends a lot, you know. Jeff and Sam and dear Jody. I'll even miss Penelope. And though I know I sometimes tease. They were always nice and gave me cheese. And once when I was feeling small and thought no one wanted me at all, then Jeff sang me the sweetest song to show he cared to prove me wrong. Oh, there's nobody quite like you, Muffy. Nobody does the things you do. There's nobody quite like you. Muffy, nobody quite like you. Where would we be if we didn't have you? Our days would be empty, nighttime too. Without you, there'd be no sun in Sunday. All of our rainbows would be pale and gray. Oh, there's nobody. Quite like you, Muffy. Nobody does the things you do. There's nobody quite like you, 
Nothing. Nobody quite like you. You brighten our world and you make us glad. Your songs cheer us up when we're feeling sad. We love your rhymes and your cute little face. Oh, nobody, nobody could take your place. So oh, there's nobody quite like you. Muffy, nobody does the things you do. There's nobody quite like you, Muffy. Nobody quite like you. From all he said, I have to agree. Where would they be without little me? Oh, there's, there's nobody. Quite like you, Muffy. Nobody does the things you do. Oh, there's nobody quite like you, Muffy. Nobody quite like you. Oh, a lovely, lovely memory. And four good friends will always be. We'll say goodbye with aching heart when it comes time for us to part. Oh, one last look around my home, for soon this mouse will have to roam. But I'll be strong and I'll be brave. With dignity I will behave. Muffy Mouse will accept her fate. But that's what makes us mice so great. <gasps> I'll only say just one thing more. Goodbye, goodbye, you silly door. <laughs> oh, Jeff, why are you so very still? Are you thinking or are you ill? No, I was just thinking, Muffy, about leaving the store. Well, I always knew I would have to one day, but... Now that it's here, well, I, I guess I'm frightened. Oh, to leave the store is very scary, but your fears are unnecessary. You're ready now to go outside. I'm sure you'll take it in your stride. <laughs> That's what Jody says, that I've learned enough to be happy in the outside world. Well, I'm not so sure. You know, the only time I go outside is when I go up on the roof. Oh, I remember the first time, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. You know, it, it, well, it was a real adventure. will be just the same. Oh, I hope so. I just wish I had some of Jody's confidence. Yeah, she's not frightened of anything. <laughs>
Right now they need someone who's strong. My friends, they mean so much to me. The fun and the love and the care. I felt that I really was needed. I felt that I had to be there. They gave me their trust. They kept me involved. When Muffy was ill, or when Sam lost his cat, and how many times did I tell Jeff, don't take off your hat, don't take off your hat. Wish them luck as they go on their way, and be brave, try to calm all their fears. A smile, though my heart feels like breaking, don't cry. This is no time for tears. Oh, push and shove and grunt and groan. I should change this for a gramophone. Come on, Muffy. It's, it's just a little further, and then I'll be able to reach in and grab it. Oh. Come on, now. Oh. Oh. What, what was that? Oh. Well, my piano slid against the wall. I'll never get it to the hall. Ah, sure you will. Come on, just give it one big push. Okay, here I go. Just watch the door. Let's go. Whoops, that door will bother me no more. Yeah, I think that's done it. I, I've got it. All right, let's go, my friend. Boy, do I see a lot of sad faces. Come on, it's not the end of the world. We'll still see a lot of each other. And Muffy, you'll find a new place to live. Sam will get new jobs. And Jeff, well, Jeff's going to have a wonderful time traveling around with Wallow the Magnificent. So you see, everything's going to work out all right. So why should we be miserable and spoil our last day in the store? Jody's right. I know. Let's think of the funniest thing we've ever done together. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? That's easy. When we decided to tell everyone the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Goldilocks. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Yeah. And we, we did it like an opera and we yeah. sang everything oh. and we wore costumes. Yeah. And I thought the best part was when Baby Bear saw that all his porridge was gone <laughs> and they knew that someone had been in their cottage. Look what you see, an empty bowl. My porridge is not where my porridge ought to be. Oh, Mama, someone's been here. We all must look oh, around. Mama, we someone all must has look been around. here. We all must look Do you look. think someone could be here? We all must look around. Do you around. think we someone all must could look be around. here? In my bed, fast asleep. In your bed, there she is. In your bed, aha, uh -huh, there, there she is. is. Wide awake in, in the, the bed. bed. Wishing I were somewhere else instead. You gave us all a dreadful shock. You naughty little Goldilocks. You shouldn't be inside our cottage. Not by yourself. Not by yourself, and you ate up all his food. Took his bed and didn't ask. That was rude. I'm sorry now, I realize. I do want to apologize. I'll never come inside your cottage. Not by myself, not by myself. I was wrong. Never do this again. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. What makes you think we'll eat someone like you? What makes you think we'll eat someone like you? You're very thin, You're very thin. and much too small. Much too small. Let's, set Let's set her free. We'll, we'll set, set her free. free. You're the nicest bears that there could 
could be. Soon you'll be gone, no need to pack. Off you go, off you go, along the path and don't come back. Off you go, off you go, through the woods into the town. Don't come back here again. Cause if you do, we'll growl at you and force you to remain. So off you go, no need to cry. It's almost time to say goodbye. Almost time to say goodbye. I'll say goodbye. Soon you'll be gone, no need to pack. Goodbye. Off you go, goodbye. off you go. Goodbye. Along the path and don't come back. Goodbye. Off you go, goodbye. off you go. The woods into the town. Don't come back here, my friend, because our little opera has come to its end. Yeah, and when you sang, please don't eat me. <laughs> I'm telling you, Muffy, I nearly left my costume up. Oh, oh, and those <laughs> funny noses that we painted on. Oh, yeah. That was the best time ever. Well, not quite is what I wish to say. There was an even better day, too important to ignore, that day when Jeff came to the store. Oh, Muffy's oh. got a point. That day sure changed our lives. Well, it sure changed mine. Why, when that day began, I was just like any other mannequin. I, I was so new I hadn't even left the factory yet. It all started when Walter the Magnificent was walking down the street. I am Waldo, the Magnificent, a magician extraordinaire. I wave my wand with flair, pull rabbits from thin air. Every spell I took from my magic book, when in trouble it's here I look, the greatest magician alive. My name is Waldo. Let me see now. Page 20, lamppost into tree. That sounds intriguing. Fiddly roo, fiddly ree, lamppost, lamppost, into tree. <clears throat> well, maybe back to page one. Ah, all purpose magic hat. Sounds intriguing. Step one find magic hat. Step two, repeat magic words. Hocus pocus, alamogocus. Success at last. Hat, come back here. Stop, this is Waldo talking. Stop, Hat, you must obey me. Please. Magic hat, are you there? There must be something in this book about recovering the magic hat. Thank you. The wand, wave the wand again. Don't take my wand away, please. Stop that hat.
stop! Uh, uh, Alakaban, Alakabas, turn me into something fast! This is not exactly what I had in mind. <coughs> Eye of Newt, Toe of Beagle, turn me into a soaring eagle! <coughs> Better, not perfect, but better. Because we didn't know then that you had arrived in the store. No, no, all we knew is that that night there was this new mannequin in the toy department. As a matter of fact, Jeff, you were standing right over there. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I wish they would take these labels off at the factory. Yeah, that one certainly looks lifelike, doesn't he? Jody, how did you get his head to move like that? You must have pressed a button, huh? What are you talking about, Sam? I didn't do anything. Mm. There's no mistake, Jody. It, it, it was no dream. No, we're wide awake. I think I'll scream. Oh, there. Oh. I wish you two would stop mumbling and let me know what you're... Never mind. I think I know what you're talking about. Nonsense. None of you know what you're talking about. Well, his lips didn't move. <gasps> oh, of what? course not. He can't talk. Who are you? Oh, forgive me. I've had such a trying day. I've completely forgotten my manners. My card. Waldo the Magnificent. Magical feats performed on request. Special rates for birthday parties. Uh, and all... Now you know I am Waldo the Magnificent. Yeah, well, uh, look here, Mr. Uh, Magnificent. Come here a minute. Look, Mr. Magnificent, what's going on here? Nothing very spectacular, I'm afraid. You see, I was practicing my magic on that old hat yeah. when it got away from me and landed on his head. Oh. So it's that magic hat that makes him move like that? Precisely. Oh. And I've been trying to get it back all day. So if you'd be kind enough to hand it to me, I'll be on my way. But what happens when I take the hat off his head? Why, nothing, my dear young lady. He's not real. He can't think or feel. He's a mannequin with no idea that that magic hat is making him move. There, you see? He does know. He is real. It's all right. Nothing's going to happen to you. Stand back. What are you going to do? Trust me. Hocus pocus, alamogocus. Hocus pocus, alamogocus. Whoa! Oh. Hey, you did it! He's real! He's Nothing real. to it, really. A double dose was all he needed. Yeah. You don't have to be frightened. We're your friends. It's too bad he can't talk, though. Oh, one spell at a time, please. Reading and writing and talking requires something much more tricky. Don't move. Love of learning, love of art, hit his head and make him smart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duck! Oh. You missed.
missed his head and hit his shoe. But what is there smart feet can do? Oh, oh, well, <laughs> I guess that answers your question, doesn't it, Muffy? What happened? He's a mannequin again. Of course, you must understand, he is a mannequin. You see, he's only real when you put on the magic hat and say the magic words, Hocus Pocus, Alamogocus. Oh. Right, now, let's try it again. Love of learning, love of art, hit his head and make him smart. <laughs> I can talk. I can talk. <laughs> I can talk. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, how do you do? Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> right, now, before you get carried away, there are some minor details I should explain. First, if you ever leave the store, the magic spell will be broken and you'll be a mannequin again. You mean I have to stay in the store forever? For the moment, yes. I mean, if you came with me, you see, I could protect you with my magic powers, but I have to go away on a tour. So for now, during the daytime, you'll be a mannequin. And at night, these kind people will take care of you. We will. I mean, uh, oh, sure we will. <laughs> oh, yes, he can speak and think and feel, but he still has a lot to learn about the world. It's a big responsibility. Don't you want to help him? Oh, sure. oh of course we do. Right then, it's all settled. This is your new home. Oh, well, it's a whole department <laughs> store and there's lots of things to see. Hey, why don't you go have a look around? By myself? Sure, why not? It's your world now. <sighs> you know, I kind of like them. Just don't forget the magic words. Hocus Pocus, Alamogocus. Right. Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus, Alamogocus. No, it's Hocus. Oh, no. uh, could you write that down for us, please? <laughs> Good luck, Jeff. Hocus Pocus, Alamogocus. I can bend, I can stretch, I can see. Hocus, hocus, alamogocus. Look at me, I'm alive. Look at me. Hocus, pocus, alamogocus. It's a magical mystery. Hocus, pocus, alamogocus. That hocus pocus set me free. I can jump. I can kick, it's no trick, I can dance. You and I can do the things we want if we both work hard and everyone chants. ago when Jeff came to stay. And yet, it seems like yesterday. Yeah, doesn't it? 
Now, I just hope we showed you all the right things, Jeff. I mean, uh, I know that you're going out on your own and all. Well, it's nearly 8.30. Daytime staff will be in to finish up all the rest here. Time to go, I guess. I better go and get Penelope. <coughs> Uh, well, did I pack my little pen? Oh, I better check my room again. Yeah. Jody, are you sure I'm gonna like the outside world? Oh, Jack, you'll have a wonderful time. All you have to do is just say, world, here comes Jeff. The whole world is waiting for me. Just be brave and I'm sure you'll be fine. Outside there is so much to discover. Just say I will make the world mine. <sighs> My little pen I cannot see. I wonder where that pen could be. There's nothing here. There's nothing there. I've searched this whole room everywhere. I guess there's nothing here at all. Just that plaque upon the wall. <gasps> did I say what I think I did? That behind my wall that plaque was hid? <gasps> it's true! Oh, yes, it's true, it's true! Oh, golly gee, what should I do? <gasps> Now slow down, Muffy, or you'll get sick. Calmly tell the others. Double quick. Well, as soon as Muffy gets back, I guess we're ready to leave. Yeah. Yeah. But if you it's almost time to go, Penelope. Oh, yeah, quick! 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 Uh, quick, uh, quick. Uh, uh, what, what is it, Muffy? I found the plaque. It's on my wall, behind a crack. The plaque! Yeah. Hey, the plaque! Really, uh, Muffy? Plaque. Oh, 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 really, did, did you what? find it? <laughs> it's true. It's there. I'm telling you. Come and see that I speak true. Oh, well, what? come on, everybody. I think we still might have time to save the sure, store. Wait for me, Jody. Oh, 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 now will you admit I'm clever? You wouldn't have found it ever. Ha! <laughs> Muffy, hurry. There isn't much time. Oh, it's 8.30. I have to get to the main office by 9 o'clock if I'm going to stop the boss from selling the store. Yeah, and it's a long way, too. I know. What is keeping her? Muffy, Muffy, are you okay? The camera's nearly in position, and then I will complete my mission. Hurry, Muffy. Jody has to go now. I'll do my best to make very sure that she can take a good picture. Ready? Steady? Jody, get there. I hope she gets there before nine, 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 nine. I hope she gets there before nine. The clock keeps on ticking. It keeps on ticking. She has so very little time. She has so very little time. Hurry, Jody, get there. There before nine. Now don't get caught in traffic. Don't get caught in traffic. That really would be such a crime. And Jody's running out of time. Hurry, Jody, get there. I hope she gets there before nine, 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 nine. I hope she gets there before nine. I wonder how she's doing. How she's doing? It's getting very, very late. It's getting very, very late. Hurry, Jody, get there. I hope she gets there before nine, 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 nine. I hope she gets there before nine. has been a success. She should be there by now. We hope she's there by now, 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 now. Please, Jody, be there somehow. 
excuse me. I just have to see Mr. Carr. I'll just step into his I'm office. I'm sorry. Right. He's in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. But, but you don't understand. I have this photograph for him, and, and I have to show it to him. He'll want to see it please, right away. Please, sit down. I'm sure he'll see I after the meeting. I can't do that. Over. It'll be too late then. Couldn't you please just interrupt or no, something? No, no. Out of the question. I'm sure he'll see you after the meeting. Well, could you tell him that Jody's here, please? Oh, yes. I can do Thank that. Thank you. Talking, not a word. Mm. I wonder why we haven't heard. Oh, we don't know if we go or stay. My nerves won't take this long delay. Oh, come mm. on, Muffy, hold on. We'll oh. hear something soon. Oh. Hey, we <laughs> did it. Oh, the what? store's saved. What? Yeah. Oh, oh, the boss isn't going to sell the store. That means we can all stay. <laughs> this is not terrific, <laughs> Muffy. <laughs> well, the news is great. I'm very glad. But there's one thing that's very bad. The boss will want the store put back and all these things we must unpack. Yeah, oh, I know what you mean, Muffy. It's Muffy really going to be a lot of work. It's wonderful news. It's a glorious day. Everything's fine. Everything is okay. Yes,